The Brisbane Guitar Amp and Vintage Show was two big days of crank guitars, howling amplifiers and music of all styles. Steve, why Vintage Guitars? The first appeal was the sound, the playability, the feel. The quality of the guitars that were made in the 50s and 60s were very, very desired because of the quality of the instruments. But nowadays, it's, it's a, got a lot to do with the superannuation factor, the fact that uh, the Rob Report, uh, the Forbes magazine, Wall Street Journal, and lots of other articles like the 42 Guitar Index has brought to light the amazing investment value of instruments and therefore there are a lot of people with superannuation into the market today driving the prices even higher. What have you got here with you today? Well Steve I have a fabulous 1956 original gold top and this is just just before the humbucking pickups came out in 1957. Of course it's still a very valuable guitar at ninety thousand dollars but had it had the humbucking pickups the last one I found a home for about three hundred and fifty thousand and of course it's condition this one's showing a lot of age and a lot of wear and of course the cleaner they are the more valuable they are but those sort of guitars go into collections and people really don't use them and play them and record with them where well, this is an ideal guitar for playing and recording you can have your cake and eat it you can play it enjoy it and watch it grow in value so how do they go up is it doubled every 10 years like with houses well in some cases it's much more if you look at the 42 index graph and the graph comparison in Forbes magazine guitars have outperformed housing and stocks in most areas so this guitar let's say it's 90,000 now 10 years ago I probably would have had around about 3,000 on this guitar where 20 years ago it would have been a thousand dollars or maybe eight hundred dollars and 30 years ago it might have been three or four hundred. What brand should people be looking for if they're, they're wanting to invest in the future? Well I always go with the proven investments things that you can draw your graph backwards and see how the guitars performed over time so a sure thing is normally the guitars that have that have been around at least 20 or 30 years in the marketplace. Of course there are going to be future collectibles made, but they're not normally guitars that are made by a present company that's going to make a limited run. It's normally a, a guitar that they made 15,000 of them, but 10 million people want them.